If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. Mixing things up in Wrath of the Lich King as well as Shadowlands. Shadowlands is going to be sporting the headpiece, the shoulders, the gloves, and the boots. And the, sh the chest and the legs are basically Wrath of the Lich King. As you can see, Old War is the place. Yog Saren is the boss. Valorous Aegis battle plate. Moving on, we're going to hook you up with the belt next, which is going to bring you to Mist Pandaria, a.k.a. Mop. Grievous Gladiator's Clasp of Cruelty. If you hoard, you gotta go prideful. Just a couple of marks of honor to pick up the belt. I think we're gonna stick with the Draenei and hook you up with the legs. Now you can purchase these from Dalaran. That's the Wrath of the Lich King version of Dalaran from the Plate Merchant or Plate Armor Merchant. Just 200 gold, actually a little less than that. But the feet, uh, Stone Guard Attendance Boots, uh, Castle Nathria LFR. So keep in mind, the boots, the gloves, the shoulder, the head, all of them Castle Nathria, all of them LFR version. Gotta love that back. Yes, for the back piece, you have to be a Kyrian, aka the place to get it, Bastion, uh, Elysian Hold. Gonna have to get some renown and rep to pick that up. Uldum Accord Tabard, of course, from BFA version of Uldum, the Quartermaster, a little bit of rep and gold. The headpiece, Castle Nathria, LFR. 5% uh, on the drop rate for that headpiece. And finally, the weapon is going to bring us to Dragon Soul, Kata, Madness of Deathwing, 24%. Sticking with the part Shadowlands, part Wrath of the Lich King look, we're pulling the shoulders from Wrath of the Lich King, the PvP vendor, the last season in Wrath. And also the gloves are also Wrathful. So two of my favorite Paladin sets there, uh, Wrathful. Well, two pieces from them, my favorite Paladin set. Anyway, the chest is Sinful, Gladiator's Plate Chest Guard. Uh, also the legs are gonna be Sinful. Um, the belt is Throne of Thunder, Tordos is the boss, he's a giant turtle. Also, we're gonna pull the headpiece out of Throne of Thunder. Keep in mind, regular version on that. The legs, Sinful, Gladiator's Plate, Legards. Keep in mind, this is the Conquest uh, currency that you're gonna have to use to get the chest as well as the legs. Here is a lady, I believe a Blood Elf, uh, Stormwind Boots. I know, it doesn't make sense, Blood Elf, Stormwind. Anyway, the point is, give people ideas, Storm and Boots Alliance only, obviously. The hands, Wrathful Gladiators, ornamented uh, gloves, Wrathful PvP Vendor, Wrath of the Lich King PvP Vendor, Marks of Honor to pick that up. Got a Zondalari Troll who wasn't around during Wrathful, Wrath of the Lich King, <laughs> the back is Castle Nathry, regular version, and the helm, we talked about this, Throne of Thunder, Swen. 12% on the drop rate. Now, usually I don't go with a jewel that doesn't match the yellow jewels and the other pieces, but it works here, so I went with it. Keep in mind, gotta be Kyrian. Showing a little bit of love to Prot Paladins as well as Holy Paladins uh, with the color purple. So we're pulling the shoulders, the gloves, the belt, and the boots all from Nihilotha Mythic. And the rest we'll get into here. Revenant, chest plate, burning steps, various mobs, or you could just step up by it on the auction house. Kind of a fair drop right there. And the belt, we talked about this. Nihilotha, the waking city. 5% uh, drop rate for the belt of muttering truths. Keep in mind, Mythic is the version of the raid from BFA. Next up, the legs, part of the same drop set from vanilla as the chest. Burning steps is the place. Hematos is the rare, 8% on the drop rate. Might want to buy it on the auction house as well if you want. The feet, boots of hallucinatory reality. Where else do you find that? But the Waking City, Nihilotha Mythic. Hands, once again, Waking City. Nihilotha Mythic, Xanish is the boss. 10% on the drop rate for the gloves. And the back piece is Castle Nathria, Lord Evershade. You just know he wears sunglasses for some reason or another. Got a Zondalari Troll showing the shield from Hellfire Citadel Heroic. 12% on the drop rate. And the weapon, or first the headpiece, uh, Tumasar Garrus, 
Uh, LFR Atragon, 9% on the drop rate. Now we're going to zoom into the weapon. One-handed mace, Dragon Soul, LFR is the place. And we're going with a golden look here for Paladins. Love this set. Uh, pulling up some Firelands heroic pieces on the shoulders, the boots, and the gloves. Anyway, the chest is the Blood Fist Breastplate. That's various models in Netherstorm. Best bet, buy it on the auction house. Shouldn't be that expensive. We're also going with the Blood Fist legs. Uh, we'll get to that in a second or two. The belt, Tomb of Sargeras. Keep in mind, Mythic Hard Jaden is the boss and 5% on the drop rate for the belt. You could also go with the Xmog belt that you get out of Legion from your Order Hall for Paladin. That would go very well with this set as well. Uh, Blood Fist, Leg Plates, uh, the Botanica, various mobs there, or the Auction House for the legs. So the chest and the legs are drop pieces from BC. The feet, Firelands, Heroic, Major Domo, Stag Helm, Stag, Stagel, it's Stag Helm, I forgot the M, anyway. Decent drop rate on those. Uh, the hands, also Firelands, decent drop rate. Uh, grips of the Raging Giant, so that's the Heroic pieces on the chest. I'm sorry, on the shoulders, gloves, and feet. The back, wool deer, fetid devourer, 10% on the drop rate. Kind of a brownish cloak. I think it goes well with this set. Uh, Judgment Crown, of course, classic. Wow. Uh, Blackwing Lair, Nefarian, must get for any given paladin. And the weapon is Shadowlands level blacksmithing. I want to thank everybody for stopping by and if you do leave one like on a video per day please consider the next xmog video you watch giving it a thumbs up my name is luxley leave you with a final thought whatever it is by you whether it's morning afternoon or night make your day epic The fifth set here is Alliance only, just because of the tabard, so you could easily find a dark blue or some kind of orange or yellow tabard to fit in with this on the Horde side. Warmongering, Gladiator's Plate, Pauldrons, uh, you're looking at the WAD PvP pieces, Warmongering for the shoulders, the gloves, and the boots. If you Horde, you're gonna have to go Prideful. Sticking with Wad also is the chest and the legs. They're crafted from blacksmithing. And we're gonna go to Mop, Siege of Ogamar Mythic for the belt, Poison Binder Girth. Really worth picking up, great looking belt there. The legs, we said this already, Smoldering Greaves. These are crafted low level uh, blacksmithing from Wad. Super easy to get. You can also buy it on the auction house. And the feet are Warmongering Gladiators, War Boots of Prowess. Wad PvP vendor, Marks of Honor, if you hoard, of course, you're gonna go wild. Same with the hands, Warmongering, Gladiator, Scale, Gauntlets, if you hoard, you're gonna go wild. So, a few PvP pieces here in this set. Uh, this is an Alliance only back, but you could substitute the Ebon Hold Cloak, which is blue, same color, but a little bit different texture. The Tabard, of course, is Alliance only, Gilnea's Tabard, uh, Golden Rep for that. Uh, from the Gilnea's Quartermaster in the Blood Elf, Blood Elf, in the Night Elf Zone. Uh, the headpiece, Operation Mechagon, King Mechagon, to get those goggles with the red and the weapon, Old War General Vezix. And we're going with a golden look here for Paladins. Love this set. Uh, pulling up some Firelands heroic pieces on the shoulders the boots and the gloves anyway the chest is the blood fist breastplate that's various models in netherstorm best bet buy it on the auction house shouldn't be that expensive we're also going with the blood fist legs uh, we'll get to that in a second or two the belt tomb of sargeras keep in mind mythic hard jaden is the boss and five percent on the drop rate for the belt you could also go with the Xmog belt that you get out of Legion from your order hall for Paladin. That would go very well with this set as well. Uh, Blood Fist, Leg Plates, uh, the Botanica, various mobs there, or the Auction House for the legs. So the chest and the legs are drop pieces from BC. The feet, Firelands, Heroic, Major Domo, Stag Helm, Stag, Stagel, it's Stag Helm, I forgot the M, anyway. 
decent drop rate on those. Uh, the hands, also Firelands, decent drop rate. Uh, grips of the Raging Giant. So that's the heroic pieces on the chest. I'm sorry, on the shoulders, gloves, and feet. The back, Wool Deer. Fetid Devourer, 10% on the drop rate. Kind of a brownish cloak. I think it goes well with this set. Uh, Judgment Crown, of course. Classic WoW. Uh, Blackwing Lair, Nefarian. Must get for any given Paladin. And the weapon is Shadowlands, level blacksmithing. I want to thank everybody for stopping by. And if you do leave one like on a video per day, please consider the next Xmog video you watch. Giving it a thumbs up. My name is Luxley. Leave you with a final thought. Whatever it is by you, whether it's morning, afternoon, or night, make your day epic.